Court calls the case. Oh boy, here we go. Court calls the case. Be first, James Johnson. Yes, uh, James uh, Gallagher, in, on behalf of James Johnson. Uh, Mr. Johnson, good morning. If you could please state your name for the court. Good morning, James Johnson. And your honor, uh, we're here today for sentencing. Mr. Johnson, uh, he's doing a very good job staying in touch with me, uh, Judge. Um, we speak often. Uh, our request here today, your honor, is that the court would allow an adjournment to November or December if possible. The reason being, as the court's aware, uh, Mr. Johnson has a number of matters going on. And really? Yes. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. He's got, oh, I thought this was the only one. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> Uh, a couple of which are a violation of probation matters at circuit court, but uh, we're and we're aware of the recommendation. He and I have talked about the uh, re report recommendation in this matter, and we're just seeing a uh, judge. We just like to see how things are going to pan out with these pending matters uh, to see if perhaps there's something we could present to this court uh, for consideration. Does he have any more cases before me, or is this it? Because uh, if this is if this is it, I just need him away from me. Oh well, yeah. This is <laughs> <laughs> man, I thought we were friends, man. Oh no, don't even think that. Um. <laughs> oh, man, huh? He's got more before me. Yeah, yeah, I got one more. I got one more. I know. Well. I couldn't be that lucky. So here's what. What date did you want, Mr. Gallagher? Uh, Judge, we were asking anything in November or December, if the court would allow. <laughs> Give me December, because oh, he's going he gonna to pick up something in November. I mean, I know he'll be back, because he's on my docket every day. I, 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 you know, as much as I like this court, you know, I say, hey, I got to go see Simpson, man. You want to know what? You like this court so much, it's almost like your home. Um, man, <laughs> I'm trying to move. <laughs> I, 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 and I, I, wish, you know, I wish you would. <laughs> um, <laughs> I need to go to another community, man. Okay. Not just another community. Try another state. Yeah. I'll send you a list of my suggestions. Yeah, send me a realtor, <laughs> man. I need that. No, I'm not sending a realtor. I'm sending you a list. You on your own after that. <laughs> I need a fresh start. I, I show somewhere, somewhere you need a fresh start. Yeah, I'm, I'm wrapping it all up. You told me that for the past eight months. I know. It, I mean, I, I've been still been here. Don't <laughs> whatever. I've been held in here, man. After this is over, this is never ending. This is a never ending story. December 14, 2022, 9 a.m. We'll see oh, you before Christmas. <laughs> All right. I'll see that's you. That's what? That's my grandma's birthday. See? You know? Every day you show up before me is somebody's birthday. All right. Yeah. Big family. <laughs> you take, take care. care. All right. Thank you, Judge. Yep. The 14A District Court for County of Washington, State of Michigan is now back in session. All those having business before the court draw near. The Honorable Judge J. Cedric Simpson presiding. And good afternoon, folks. Court does call the case of the people of the state of Michigan versus James Edward Johnson. Counsel, state your appearances, please. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Patricia Reiser, first assistant prosecuting attorney on behalf of the people. And good afternoon, Your Honor. Sam Bernstein with and on behalf of Mr. Johnson. And Mr. Johnson, can you please state your name for the judge? James Johnson. And we're here as a continuation from the motion I request to proceed by forfeiture. Was there anything additional? The court has received a copy of the transcript and has reviewed the same. That was going to be my question, Your Honor. Um, and I know that there were recordings that were proffered to Your Honor as part of a bond violation um, that I don't know if you've had the chance to listen to. That would have been a while ago. Um. Did we get recordings? And Mr. Bernstein, you received a copy of those? I have all 70 phone calls, Your Honor. All right. So I, 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 have, I received them through. Go ahead. I just I received them through the discovery process, Your Honor. Thank you. Oh, okay. I got you. So 
Because what I recall receiving was a basically a printout of the log, I think, of the from the sheriff's department of the calls. Yes, the Securus printout. Yes. And I re- recall receiving that. I suffice it to say, I have not listened to that, um, regrettably. How many emails were there, Mr. Reiser? Do you know? Um, I don't know. I think there was one with the attachments. With all 70. No, Seven. with no, with just some relevant, um, some of the more pertinent um, phone calls. I believe. I believe there were two wave files in addition to the printouts that Your Honor mentioned. Okay, I see what you're saying. So she says she's found. We should know. I know. Judge, I found them all. It's just that they're all in different emails, separate emails. So I'm trying to forward them. It's causing my Outlook to crash. Got it. Right, I've got one. Well, let's suffice it to say that these certainly would be relevant to the people's argument. Is it correct? Yes, Your Honor. Those, um, those are, I believe, the calls that are quoted from in the motion, and I know that yeah. counsel has indicated that they're taken out of context, and so I have no objection to Your Honor listening to them in their entirety. Um, I think, frankly, the sheer volume of calls um, is problematic, to say the least, especially in light of the court's order, um, but I think that there is an argument certainly that there was um, a wearing down of Miss um, Henderson, a um, perhaps placing her in fear of what might happen if she doesn't comply, um, or giving her hope that if he were to get out, that she would have assistance with childcare. But a number of things that I know your honor is aware of because your honor is so aware of the history of these cases. Yes. I'm aware of some of that. I have not heard obviously how they were um, or the context, if you will, or how it was said or the like. Um, Let's do this. Mr. Johnson, this is not the only case holding you. Is that correct? Still. It will, it, no, it's, yeah, no, yeah, I, you know, I don't like to talk too much because, like you say, I always. You, you always say too much. Yeah, yeah, I always so say too just much. just answer my question, you got other cases that are now holding you, though. Uh, yes, I'm trying to, I'll be clearing them up, though, this week and next week. Okay, let's do this then. Um. And my apologies to counsel. I would have certainly uh, looked at those. I only still have. There's, so I have to make sure I have everything. Okay, I'm missing. I see three emails that these came through in. I, I think if there's going to be sort of an allegation that, that there's like a wearing down or it's the sheer volume, then the court really has to listen to a lot more of the calls than just like picking out three. Uh, because if I'm if there's an argument against my argument that is being taken out of context, then unfortunately we have to give your honor the context. So I'll right. ask Ms. Well, Wilson, Provide more. Let me let me just say this. When I said three parts, what I have that has come through to me so far is I have like a series or a couple of wave calls that are in an, an email marked emergency bond violation, James Johnson part two. And then I have 
part three, which is one other call. I'm not sure. I'm sure she's trying to send it to me, part one. But with reference to those calls, I guess I'll first ask this, since it involves some context. What calls would you want me to listen to then, Mr. Bernstein? I could provide that in an email. I have like a very long printout of like what the calls are, but I'm not at this moment in time. I don't have them like at my fingertips to give the court. No, um, I, I, I got that. I guess I, I'd say that. And you're saying that these other phone calls would give at least from the defense perspective, some context to the, what may be these other ones. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so I think I saw that's the third one. Yes. So then I have what looks like part one, but it's not marked part one, but it's the original, which has Well, it looks like it, there's a PDF on there. So I have two wave calls. And then it looks like I have a total of five. Okay, well, let me ask it this way. Mr. Bernstein, do you know these five that have been sent to the court? No, Your Honor, I think they were probably sent before I was on the case, and that's why I wasn't uh, CC'd on the email. Got it. Okay, because so in terms of the, and I'm not sure how I would even when I open it up. I mean, it's a long number. So I guess it would seem to me to do this. How long would it take you, Mr. Bernstein, to get the calls that you think I should listen to, to the court. It, it wouldn't take me that long, Your Honor. Um, I just need like a, like a day or two to round those up for the court. Okay. Would you need to have a copy of this, of the email so that you know which calls the people are referring to? That might be helpful if Ms. Reiser could please forward that to me or. Well, she could either do that or I could have my staff send those to you. Okay. So that you know, so that there's not something that is then duplicated. On that, OK. Um, so we'll get these, those to you shortly after we conclude. Okay, so that I'm clear, Mr. Johnson's matters, there are matters that are holding him. I do know that. He says they're going to be clear. Well, sometimes for him, it's wishful think, but <laughs> that he will be, that those would be done by at the latest sometime next week. Yes, like the 12th, I believe. It's he theoretically not impossible. <laughs> he has a preliminary yeah. exam, I believe, set for tomorrow. Um, okay. But I believe that's one of the cases that's holding him. Okay, so he has a prelim for tomorrow. I'm not going to record Okay. So that's October 4th. Well, I, I would ask your honor, because I think he's at the 93 day mark on this case. Um, I don't think he really needs to accrue any more credit. It, it would be fair to Mr. Johnson if theoretically all his holds did uh, get lifted next week. And then it would be weird if this case was still holding him when he's already maxed out on the potential sentence. Um, Does I don't he know. have 93 in on this case? If Even it's not 93, with, it's got to be like 85. It's very, uh, James would know more than me. Uh, yeah, actually, um, 
I got uh, more than 93 days in on this on this uh, case alone. Well, I've been in here since even. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, please. Yes, sir. Just a quick question, not about this neither. Uh, Judge Simpson, did you uh, receive the letter? I had sent you a letter uh, in regards to a case, um, but I had sent you a letter. I was trying to see, did you receive that yet or not? I, I've i been off for a week. Oh. So I don't know. Okay, my staff indicates that they, nothing was, was in our, our mailbox today. So um, I don't know if it just hasn't arrived as of yet or what, but. Okay. Because yeah, I sent it like, uh, probably like a week or so ago. Maybe a little over a week. So I don't, I'm not near that count. And the reason the days that you're counting, um, I think it was arraigned by the magistrate. Like I issued a bench warrant back in June, right? Then he was arraigned by the magistrate. He was out on this case because the last thing I have noted was he had a PR for March. We went through April, get down into June. I think that was his jury selection. Well, May was his jury selection, and I think it got continued until the June fifteenth day. Yeah, I think. Uh, and then he oh. didn't appear, and I issued a bench warrant. He gets picked mm -hmm. up in July. The first date I have is July eighteenth on this case. That doesn't mean that he wasn't in longer, but. July 18th is the first date that I have. No, then, July oh, Hold on. Just hold on. So if I just sketch it out, July 18th to mid-August, September. I, I don't have him near the 93-day mark until what would be the latter part well about two-thirds of the way through this month that, that's that's I, that's fair your honor i think how james is looking at it is if he was sentenced to 93 days today on this case theoretically no other holds they would let him out for for good time is probably how he's looking at it because like, that would be like 77 days or something yeah and i i, I don't know i might my math might be a little bit off but um i thought like i was picked up a few times on this case um, and doing like I, I was picked up when the case first had started, I think in like what 2021 or 2020 or something like that. I was picked up, I did a couple of days, I got out, I had a bond, I missed court, did a couple of days, I got out. Did. Well, hold on though, you didn't on this case, okay? I don't, unless you came in in custody. On this case, I have the original date of your arraignment as March 9th. You were given bond conditions, but at that time given a PR bond. Mm -hmm. And then I, believe... I don't, hold on. Okay. I don't then have you, at least on this case, in custody at all. On this case, until you appear in July. Yeah, I got picked up July 16th. Okay, you might have been arrested. I, I'm just going by my date, which is maybe a couple of days off because you would have been you wouldn't have been arraigned the same date that you would have been picked up. So I understand it may be a couple of days off. And then on this case, you've been in custody since. Yes. Now you may have been in and out on other matters that didn't 
between March and July, or at least June when I issued the bench warrant, because presumably they would have held you. But between March and June, you may have come in and gone out on other cases, but those don't count toward this case. Right, right. Oh. Yes, yes, sir. I was just okay. I thought I may have had. Okay. So here's what I would do is I would adjourn this matter out to my next DV day, which would be October 17th at the same time, if that will work for counsel. I also don't think from the defendant's standpoint that if there may be an issue of a couple of days, but I don't think so, because if he does get released on everything next week, then he just have to sit waiting on this. But if he doesn't, he's going to be there any event. I mean, if I had place in my docket that I could put it earlier, I would, but Your my, Honor, docket I... already, my docket already looks bad and coming back from vacation, it just looks worse. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that he's being held on a case in Judge Conlin's court. I believe um, it's a violation of, it might be a violation of probation, um, but I believe the bond was denied. Yeah, I'll be clearing that up um, next week on the 12th. I believe there's an R&O, assault and bat and an assault and battery. Um, yes, that I, are have, I have a bond on Hold that. on, James. Hold on. Go ahead, Ms. Rose. Um, so I believe the assault and battery is a 5,010%. Bond, the R and O is fifty thousand ten percent, and then there's this case. So I don't know the status of any bonds that have been posted, but that's the information that I. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm next week uh, going for the Judge Conley for the violation. Um, I was supposed to be uh, placed out on a, a GPS tether, so I'm looking for that. And then the bonds, uh, as far as the ones that you reference in cash amount, um, I do have the money on standby to post those bonds. So everything, like I said, Your Honor, will be uh, cleared up next week. And here's what I'll do. I'll adjourn the this motion because the jury um, final settlement conference jury is set for October 19th. So it would just have to be another James Johnson week for me. Oh, <laughs> I'll, set, I'll adjourn the motion to October 17, 2022 at 3.30. You're already currently set on this case for October 19th for final settlement conference and the 21st for jury selection, if necessary. So it would just be three days all that week. It'll give counsel time to get that to me, give me time to listen to everything, and then make and make my decision on it. Okay, can I get like a a, 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 a reduction of bond or so, or a 10% or something? Now, you know, <laughs> hold on. Mr. Mr. Johnson, every time I have to explain this to you, this is why you have attorneys. He may be... <laughs> You start making your own argument, and at one point you're asking me on some of your cases to reduce your bond, then you're asking me to raise it back up when things don't go well. Right, right. I'm not going to be fluctuating back and forth. So my answer to you is respectfully, no. I'm not going to reduce it. I'm going to leave it right where it is. We'll get to the 17th. And if the people are able to proceed by forfeiture, then we're going to proceed to the 19th and the 21st. Okay. At that point, we also should be able to get um, a correct count on the days so that we would then know exactly what we're, where we're at. But we shouldn't have gone over that time frame. I understand the calculation of good time, but some of that he was going to be in any event. Okay. We appreciate the court's consideration. Welcome back from vacation, Your Honor. <laughs> yeah. It's been, a, it's been a joy. The the only highlight of it was that Maryland beat Michigan State. But oh wow. That's all. <laughs> all right. Go Terrapins. Yes, Can I get a, a, a breakout room with you before we end? 
With who? Uh, with my attorney. Okay, usually. Or no. Uh, I, I mean, I, if, 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 you know. You just, you just mess up my whole day. Oh, man. Right. I'm done. I'm done with this. We'll give them a breakout room so they can talk. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Reiser. Thank you, Your Honor. You're going. Okay, great. All right. That's it for us. Okay. All right. 14A stand. Court calls the case. Oh, he's back again. Yeah. Court calls the case. People versus James Johnson. This is two days in a row. Are you to make that on behalf of the people? James Gallagher, Assistant Public Defender on behalf of James Johnson. Mr. Johnson, good afternoon. If you could please state your name for the court. James Johnson. Okay. All right. So what are we doing on this one? Your Honor, um, if the court would indulge me, could I just, Mr. Johnson has a lot going on. So if I could just recap this case um, okay. to, so that everybody's on, up on the same page and up to speed on it. At an um, earlier hearing, this was a one count case of assault and battery. And, um, or rather, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it was one called case of assault and battery. And there was a trespass charge that um, was not included that needed to be added. At the time, I had just offered to basically reduce the A and B to that trespass um, rather than amend the count. At the time, Mr. Johnson um, had some feelings about what that incident was and um, expressed that he, he, he was trying to decide whether or not he wanted to proceed to trial on that. So right. since that time, I've since amended the charge. So it is now a two count case of count one, assault and battery, and count two, trespass. That was the St. Joe's right. Hospital. I will say um, that the offer is going to remain the same. So I understand that Mr. Johnson has some feelings about the incident, um, but I'm offering to essentially dismiss it now rather than him hoping to get that same result at trial. So the offer still remains that I will dismiss count one of assault and battery and Mr. Johnson could plead to count two of trespass. Got it. And Your Honor, I have uh, Mr. Johnson and I, we have talked about this case uh, previously. Uh, Mr. Johnson, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I, I believe he wants to uh, set this for jury trial. Is that correct, Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. You know, you, you can have a jury trial. But you, <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, you amaze me. Because sometimes you just make the you make bad decisions because what did we talk about yesterday on your other case? Remember when we were talking about the amount of time that you had been in already? Mm -hmm. Okay. This trespass is a 30 day. You've been in longer than 30 days on this case. I mean, we had to do the counting on the other case a little bit because there were those periods of time. But this case, clearly, you've been, you've been in longer than, you've been in jail longer than the case could possibly meet out. Right, uh, but you know, honestly, your honor, you know, I, like my attorney said, you know, and uh, Miss Miss McDuffie, I feel some type of way about the case and the trespassing to plead out to the trespassing. I also, I was up there for medical attention, so I wasn't trespassing. The hospital can't. They, they well, can't except when they hold on. I don't want you talking about the case because there are two ways that trespass can happen, but I don't want you to talk about the case itself. Oh, well. uh, I, is, I just want to be sure that Mr. Johnson understands that the same issue that he's taking to trial is what I'm offering to dismiss up front right now. Right. Yeah, it's for yeah. me to please. I know, that's, I know that's what's happening. I know for me to plead I a lower charge, but in, in regards to... But to it's not... Plea, Mr. I told Mr. You not. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, please. Because right now, you have you have been caught up on a whole bunch of cases, right? So many so that we can't, sometimes we were having problems trying to sort out which case was which, mm -hmm. right? This is a chance to just let it go and move on. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but see, if I, I mean, out, right? no, if I put it out to, to the trespassing, right? 
then that, because uh, I said in this case that I was assaulted, the video clearly shows that as well. You know, that I was assaulted in this case. I plead out to the case. Then I, don't, I, I don't want, I don't want to talk about the case, Mr. Jones. Right, I'm filing a yes, lawsuit sir. at the hospital, so I'm not, I don't want to plead out to nothing. It's like I admit guilt of being a trespass. All right, all right. All right. Have it your way. And I asked for that trespass. I asked for final settlement conference. No. The next jury final settlement conference, November 16th, 2022. All right. 1.30. Jury selection if necessary. November 18th, 2022 at 8.30. All right, you have a good day. Your Honor, is Mr. Johnson being held on this matter? Yep. Yeah. Got a bond. Thank you. Have a good day. Good morning, Mr. Johnson. How you doing? I'm all right. How about yourself? I'm also all right. Give me one second to write in this other file, and then we'll handle your case. All right. State of Michigan versus James Johnson, 2211291. Mr. Johnson, I know you're familiar with the advice of rights. I'm gonna go ahead and read you a summary because by law, that's something I'm supposed to do at the arraignment, okay? Oh. All right. Uh, you're here today on a misdemeanor charge. You have the following basic rights. Okay, you're here today on a charge of trespass. The complaint states that on or about April 5th, 2022 at MacArthur Boulevard in Superior Township, you're accused of trespassing by being on the property belonging to Sycamore Meadows and, board, and or Danbury Manor after having been um, told by the Washington County Sheriff's Department not to be there. The penalty for trespass is a maximum of 30 days in custody and or a $250 fine. Do you have any questions about the charge? No. Okay. Um, I'm scheduling with Judge Simpson for Superior on, what's the next available for a Superior Court date? I can, you can't sentence me today, huh? I can't okay. sentence you on a trespass, no. October 18th is the date I'm scheduling for you. So that's a little less than two weeks. Are you, you're still gonna be in custody then? Uh. October 12th. Uh, what's, um, your next, what's your next court date with uh, Judge Conlon? Uh, October 12th. Okay. And is that the only thing you still have open? Uh, I got a, uh, I got a, um, another little misdemeanor charge, but I think I should be out on the 17th for that. Okay. I'm All right. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule you for October 18th. All right, cool. Um, yeah. And did you want to have the public defender's office represent you on this? It don't matter. I'm going to plead guilty. I got the time in already. It's, so. it's it's up to you. That's your option. So you need to choose whether you'd like a public defender or not. I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Ms. Yankee, I'm going to go ahead and appoint your office. Go ahead when you're ready. Hello, Yankee, appearing on behalf of James Johnson today. For now, we're going to stand mute. And we're going to ask for a personal bond on this matter and the matter be set for pretrial. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to be in custody already, so. Right, so I'm thinking it might make sense for me to. 10%. Um, yeah, order a little tiny bond for you, Mr. Johnson, mm -hmm. just so we're guaranteed you get credit for time served. Okay. Okay, so I'll set your bond at $50 cash. All right, thanks. And. Um, that court date again is October 18th and that'll be approximately 9 a.m. It sort of depends on whether you're in or out. So, yeah, what? Did you think you have something in November? Okay. Do you want to give me do you do you even know what your phone number or your email will be when you are out of custody? Uh no. Okay. So, if you are out of jail for that court date on the 18th. And I know that we just don't know whether you will be or not. No if you are out of jail, you're still responsible for appearing for this case, okay? Cool. So you can either call the courthouse and get the contact 
the Zoom information, the link and all of that. You can call the public defender's office and get the information from that office, or you can come here to Hogback in Washtenaw and use one of the uh, computers that we have in the lobby. Oh, well. Okay, but I don't have a phone number for you and I don't have an email. So no one is going to be able to send you the Zoom link. All right. All right, so if you're not in jail, you have to make sure that you get that from us somehow. Awesome. I definitely will. Okay. All right. So um, $50 cash, court date on the 18th, plea of mute. I think that covers it. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay. Take care of yourself. Thank you. you yep. Thank you. Can you get yourself unmuted or have one of the officers help you with that? Yeah, no, he's unmuted. There we go. So our PCC date is the 20th. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm well yourself. Uh, making the best of my situation. Understood. Bill State of Michigan versus uh, James Johnson, case number 22FB1384. Allegation here is that on uh, December 19th uh, and or December 20th through those dates of 2021, Ypsilanti Township, Washington County, State of Michigan, on I-94, out or near Rawsonville, you did assault, batter, wound, resist, obstruct, oppose, or endanger a trooper SOS. A uh, police officer, Michigan State Police, that you knew or re had reason or performing duties as a police officer. A felony carrying a maximum penalty of convicted of up to two years in prison, a $2,000 fine, or both. Do you understand that? Yeah. Count two, you did assault, batter, wound, resist, obstruct, or endanger Trooper Twitmeyer. A police officer, Michigan State Police, that you knew or had reason or performing duties as a police officer. Also, a felony carries a maximum penalty of two years in prison, a $2,000 fine, or both. Do you understand that? Yeah. Count three, you did assault, batter, wound, resist, obstruct, oppose, or endanger Deputy Corey, a sheriff, Deputy Sheriff of County Washington, you knew or had reason or performing duties as a deputy sheriff, a misdemeanor carrying, I'm sorry, a felony again carrying max penalty of convicted of up to two years in prison, a $2,000 fine, or both. Do you understand that? Yeah. Court needs you to advise your certain rights. You're about to have a uh, felony charge. You have the right to remain silent. And you say on the record, can would be used against you at trial. Do you understand that? Yes. You have the right to be represented by an attorney. You have the right to trial by jury. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will represent you at public expense. Should the matter go to trial, you have the following trial rights. You may call witnesses to speak on your behalf. You may see, hear, and question any witness against you. You have the right to be a witness for yourself or to remain silent. Should you choose not to testify, the prosecutor may not comment on your refusal to testify. You are presumed innocent unless proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. If you plead guilty or no contest, that plea is accepted. You would waive your right to trial and waive the right to have this corner with you. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Corley, we stand mute to all counts uh, and enter not guilty pleas on your behalf. People want to address bond in this matter. Your Honor, it looks like this APA Rachel McDuffie on behalf of the people. I'm sorry. It looks like this is a reauthorization of a case that went to exam um, just very recently. So I believe the bond form should reflect all of the requests um, from that APA. Okay. Uh, court unfortunately doesn't have the bond form available to it. Uh, okay, so no problem. Any, yeah, is there any, anything particular you want to bring the court's attention uh, that would, I need to hear that from you? Sure, absolutely. I'll grab it right now. Um, I believe Mr. Johnson has held on a couple of other matters. Um, so given that this is um, law enforcement victims, this would just be um, the standard bond conditions. Okay. All right. Public defender, I'll address bond. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. Calvin Hawthorne, appearing on behalf of Mr. Johnson. Uh, as Ms. McDuffie stated, he is being held on other matters. Uh, so we would ask for a small monetary bond on this okay. matter. All right. Thank you. What was that date? Oh, 20th. All right. Next court day will be October 20th for a probable cause conference. Matter doesn't resolve that here. It pursued a preliminary examination. That is a hearing at which point in time the prosecutor must present sufficient evidence and or testimony. There's probable cause crime is committed, probable cause you did commit the crime. Should the judge presiding over that hearing determine that probable cause does exist, the matter will be bound over, meaning transferred to a circuit court for trial. That hearing would take place on October the 25th, also at 9 a.m., also via Zoom. Can I have it in person? What's that? Oh, can I have that? Uh, you said the October 25th will be uh, my circuit court date? That would be your, prob that'd be your uh, preliminary exam. It doesn't go to circuit court unless it gets bound over. All right. Okay, can I have a preliminary exam uh, in person? I would like it in person. You can talk to your attorney about that. Okay. Public defender will be in touch with you before your next court date. All right. Uh, and you're being held on other charges, correct? 
Uh, yes, sir. Okay. When's your next court date for your next charges? Are there charges? Uh, do you know? Yes, it's uh next week, the twelfth. The twelfth. Yeah, I'm hoping to uh get uh, released on the tether. Okay. All right, we'll set a twenty five hundred dollar ten percent bond to assure appearance of that future your future court dates for this matter, given that you're incarcerated and not 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 sure of the outcome of that next hearing. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I get a breakout room, uh, public defender? They'll be in touch with you before your next court date. I got to keep them here for to move through the rest of this the stock. But they'll they'll be in touch with you. Okay. All right. Hey, yeah. Get, not to someone will contact you. Yeah. Could you, Calvin? Could you just let them know that to put the motion in? I want it in person. I want my I want to hold my preliminary in person. I don't want it over Zoom. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right.